one of the magic functions of Toast 10 is the ability for it to make a Blu-ray video disc using ordinary DVD recordable media and an ordinary DVD burner. Now, in order to do this, the first thing that we need to do is establish that you're not going to use the DVD video setup, but in fact you need to select the Blu-ray video setting within the video segment of Toast Titanium. Blu-ray video function will tell Toast the function that it needs to encode, the way that it needs to encode, and more importantly, it will tell it that it is in fact making a Blu-ray video disc format, which will come in very handy a little bit later on when we go to burn the disc. Now, speaking of burning the disc, I did say you don't need a Blu-ray burner, and in fact, you'll notice that here in the little gear, which tells me the machines that are connected to this particular computer that are burnable. In this case, I am only looking at my DVD burner that is internal to the laptop. Now you can add external devices to that and they will show up in this pop-up menu. But we can make a perfectly usable Blu-ray video disc, including high-definition encoded video, using nothing more than an ordinary DVD disc. Now how does it do it? It's magic. But regardless of the magic that's involved. The first thing is we need to get some content. Now you can choose automatic and just let Toast do the encoding for you automatically, but I highly recommend that you select custom and Toast will then display the codec that has been selected, in this case AVC, the MPEG-4, and Dolby Digital. If you want more control over the encoding settings, you click the more button and it will open up the properties uh, panel, which then contains an encoding tab. So you'll notice now that much of this information is the same here as the abbreviated version down here. But here we have control over the average bit rate, the maximum bit rate, motion estimation, etc. Generally what you will want to do are leave the preset defaults at their default settings, but you'll want to make sure for the best use of the space on the disk that you always select Dolby Digital and not PCM because PCM is a big fat format that will burn up your disk very quickly. The MPEG-4 AVC video codec is the other choice. Normally for DVD we use MPEG-2, but for high definition you will find that you can get brilliant looking pictures out of a lower encode rate by using AVC. Most people don't want necessarily to have the items play continuously, so we'll uncheck that. You do have your, your choice of many different kinds of menus that are available, and if you click on the, the uh, menu button, you'll see that it will pop up uh, a vision of what these are. And you can select them and pretty much change them anywhere that you can see them. And if you click the little magnifying glass, you'll see a larger version of what it will be like. Now, these are preset menus that are available within Toast, and they come in both 4x3 and 16x9. I've got my Toast preferences set to show me the 16x9 settings only, but you can go into the preferences and you can ask it to display the widescreen menu and the standard menus or automatic selection or show all, in which case we'll get the same things twice here. Colors and color 16 by 9. I happen to like cut because it's a very movie kind of theme thing and if we click the magnifying glass you'll see it's very movie-esque in its own way. Now I only have one movie and it's making the buttons automatically so it will make that button automatically. The next step would be for us to begin the process of creating this assuming that we don't want to necessarily edit any chapters that would take place in the video editing tab of the edit button which we click on 